one. So the first thing I'm doing as always is prepping the eye area. When I was doing my base, I took my foundation over the eye area to cancel out any discoloration in that on the lid. And now I'm adding some powder over top to set the foundation in place. My palette of choice today is the Sleek Eye Divine Ultra Matte Volume 2 palette, a firm favourite of mine. And I'm beginning with the white shadow from the palette and I've just taken this on a stiff C-shaped brush and I'm packing this underneath the arch of the brow and then I'm patting it down towards the tail. Then I'm taking a clean fluffy blending brush and I'm lightly buffing over that edge to fade the white into the skin. Now I'm going to map out the shape of my winged liner and I always get asked why I do this and it just gives me a guide as to where to blend my shadows in from. It also stops me from making mistakes with the winged liner later on as I literally just have to fill in an outline and the reason I don't colour it in now is because with applying and blending shadow the liquid would just crack and crumble away. I'm taking this shadow now, one that's a few shades darker than my skin tone and I'm using it as my transition shade. I always like to build my colours up from light to dark because it makes the blending process easier to do and a gradient effect I think gives a more professional finish to the makeup look. Once I'm happy with how that shadow looks in the crease, I'm then going in with a nice warm brown, this is Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek and I'm working this into the crease as well. So I'm just starting right on the tail of the winged liner and blending in and across the crease from that point. Next I'm taking this shadow called Americano, also from Makeup Geek, and I'm using my fluffy blending brush to pat this colour onto the lid. Being that I'm using a blending brush to apply this shadow, it's going to give me a much lighter finish. You could use a flat C-shaped brush to pack the shadow onto the lid, but for this look in particular, I just prefer to add a light layer of the brown and then gradually build up the intensity of it. Now, as you can see, I'm blending that shadow up into the crease, up into the shades that we applied previously, and I'm just using a mix of motions to blend that shadow. I like to use circular motions initially, and then sweeping motions to feather the shadow upwards. After applying and fading out that dark brown, I'm ready to apply some black. So I've picked some up on my C-shaped brush and I'm really packing the shadow onto the lid. As you can see, I'm starting maybe a third of the way up from the lash line and starting the shadow from there. That's because I don't want to cover up the outline for my winged liner. I want to see that outline when it comes to filling it in and it doesn't really matter if there's no black eyeshadow in that area because it's being covered up anyway. Once again, now that I've covered the lid, I'm going back in with my fluffy blending brush and I'm connecting that black up into the crease. Like with any colour shadow, I always like to apply it in a couple of layers to build up the intensity. And with blending anyway, the shadow's going to fade and I want this look to be nice and dark and sultry. So I'm going back in and patting some more black on the lid and then blending up into the crease and into the shadows that we applied previously. Now that I've finished with my shadows in that area, I'm going in and filling in that outline that I drew in the beginning. You can use whatever medium you're most comfortable with. For me, it's liquid. I just find it the easiest to apply. Next, I'm making a point on the inner corner and I'm actually letting the brush do the work. This Essence liner has a long, thin brush, so I'm just pulling down lightly on the inner corner and letting the shape of the brush do the rest of the work. Once I have that line down, I'm pulling back in towards the lash line. I like to take the liquid liner along the lower lash line too just because it intensifies the look even further and it's more long lasting than just black eyeshadow on its own and it doesn't matter if the line isn't perfect we're going to be smoking it out in a minute and then of course I'm going back in and filling in that little point on the inner corner. Back to shadows now, I'm taking Cocoa Bear again on a small smudger brush and I'm blending this down along the lower lash line. Next then, I'm taking that black eyeshadow and I'm using an angled brush to press that over the liquid liner on the outer half of the eye and then I'm using my pencil brush just to smoke out that shadow. For the waterline, I'm taking one of my favourite liners and I'm just lining along there. Once I have that liner in place, then I'm packing some black eyeshadow on top to set the liner in place and also to make sure that there are no fleshy tones peeking through. 
Now I'm adding some lashes, a nice dramatic pair to pull the look together and then I'm applying some mascara to blend my own lashes in with false ones but then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.